Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are jumping in to check out a new mod called Kicks and Giggles. This is a mod that adds three brand new characters and their tainted variants along with a lot of items to unlock. And today we were checking out one of those items, the Eerie Flyer, a quality four item here that does something pretty interesting. Spawns a random rune and a Hexen Table. Hexen Table is a new thing that you can interact with, so let's use this and see what rune we get. We got a random rune from the Eclipsed mod and the Hexen Table here is going to consume our held rune and pay out by teaching Isaac a permanent unique skill if it's a soul stone, but if it's an unregistered one, for example, one from a mod that isn't um, like integrated with the mod, or if it's a random just regular rune, it'll just give us a stat bonus. So let's see if this is integrated. I'm guessing it won't be and we'll just get a stat bonus here, but there you go. Look, we got ourselves um, an extra bit of speed, rather nice, and we can come back to that table and do that over and over again. I've given myself battery acid here, along with rune bag, which will give us um, faster charges on our active item. Um, battery acid doubles the amount of charge we get per room, but we do lose one charge every uh, 15 seconds. So it's a bit of a bit of a risk, but it should increase the amount of charges we get overall. Um, and then we've also got ourselves the rune bag, which is just going to increase our chances for getting those soul stones and seeing these different effects, which could be pretty cool. Oh, didn't realize there'd be an extra enemy in this room. Get out of here. You can see as well that battery acid does also have like a leaking um, effect behind us. Oh, we have a tinted rocket over there. I know I'm wasting time on battery acid here, but I really should be grabbing stuff like this to try and survive. Um, and I think this double room will give us four charges anyways, so... Could be pretty gnarly for us. Let's try and take these guys out. Lovely. Our bloodshot eye, obviously not the best for us to grab here, but it is what it is. Man, these enemies are uh, very, very annoying. But we got them. Unfortunately, this room has taken us quite some time, so... We didn't get all the charge-ups that we wanted there, but we will try again. After going through these few rooms. Unfortunately, we're getting some really time-consuming rooms here. Rooms that require us to, like, open up passageways and stuff. I don't even care about that penny. I just want to go fast. I want to be able to use my charges, please. Before the boss, because the boss obviously will take a while and we'll we'll decay some charges off of the back of that. So we can pop this again. We got a random rune here, so we got Bacano. So we can just Bacano into here for a stat upgrade. We got some fire rate. And this we got the Soul of Winfred, which is one of the characters from this mod, actually. Non-boss enemies die and leave a wisp or soul heart behind. Um, leaving a wisp behind grants the seal of Winfred. So this should have an interaction with this here. Yes, you learn Phantom Puppery. Uh, puppetry, sorry. So we don't know what that does at the moment. Phantom puppetry is uh, a bit of an unknown to us. But, ah, there you go. We killed an enemy and we gained a little ghosty that's going to go attack. It's a green ghosty, so I don't know if that means it poisons or if it's... I don't know. But either way, uh, killing enemies is going to randomly spawn like purgatory ghosts, but they're green. Um, it seems pretty good so far, then they do explode. Okay, so this is a good permanent ability that we've gained already off one of the soul stones. And we got ourselves a... Um, we got ourselves, I don't know what the hell that was, uh, teleports the player to a pocket cat room upon use. I do not know what that is. By the way, it does say boss butch as the mod that isn't correct. Um, teleports the player to a pocket cat room upon use. I don't know what that is, but let's find out, shall we? Oh, hello. Hello. You have one of those familiar faces. I feel like we've met before somewhere, perhaps in a past life. Oh, hell. Okay. Um, two severed heads... Ah, okay. So that little that little head. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to purchase with right now, so um, I I can't do anything. But that's an interesting idea. I see. Um, so the severed heads is one of the things that you saw on the floor there that I didn't pick up in time. And we don't have any charges right now. We've got a golden key, so we might as well go to our shop. Um, yeah, interesting idea. Interesting idea. Oh, baby. Has a chance to use your active multiple times on use. Yes, the hell, please. 
and we'll grab this battery as well to get our next charge going. But electric dice is a really, really good one for us because that means we're going to spawn multiple hex tables, but more importantly, multiple runes because it spawns a rune on each use. We want to get as many soul stones as possible because, as I said, the abilities that they give us are permanent. So I'm interested to see what abilities each item has associated with it. It could be pretty cool. And these little ghosties are definitely going to help out here. We'll bomb that. Thank you. Quickly go and get our item room. We're heading this way anyways. And bombs leave water creep. Bombs slow down enemies. Bombs turn. Kill enemies into ice statues. Pretty nice. Some extra bombs also is just useful to have. Utility wise. Yeah, so far I'm really happy that we got a, a, a new modded soulstone from this mod as well. Nice to see. These ghosts are... Gonna up our DPS output a decent amount, I think. Right, I'm gonna try out one of these ice bombs. I, I managed to kill that guy before the ice bomb got him, unfortunately. So, we did get a charge here. We pop it. We only got one. Soul of Cain is interesting here. What's gonna... What's this gonna be? Murderous Intent. So, I'd, by the name, I don't know what that would do, but I'm guessing it's going to be like Crystal Key, where on Room Clear I have a random chance to open a red room, but that the name doesn't suggest that, really. Um, although, all those enemies were feared when we entered the room. Okay, that definitely seems to be the um, what's happened here. We enter a room, for a few seconds, every enemy is feared, which is som somewhat useful. I like it. Throw some poops here. Get a little bit of cha-ching, cha-ching. Got Chaos of Conquest here, so we're getting a lot of champion enemies. Yeah, I suppose it just gives us a bit of breathing room to figure out what's going on with the room to start with. It's kind of nice. Ooh, Black Rune. Okay, Black Rune we can go back and we can pop into the machine, into the Hexen table, wherever it is, to get a stat increase. Where the hell is our Hexen table? There it is. And we're just getting some luck up off of the back of that. Obviously, look up, not the best we could have gotten, but it's nice to have. And it, it does show as well that we're getting random stats per. As for a question of the day for today, what is your favorite rune? And it can be a modded one, soul stone or otherwise. I'd be interested to know. The bosses aren't feared by the looks of it, which is fair. Nice one. Okay, so there's our severed head thing here. And we got ourselves this little teleport. So we don't need that now, but I'm guessing... We get that after defeating bosses, by the looks of it. Let's go check out our uh, devil deal here. Got ourselves a little bit of cramp arena. Them bombs seem strong, man. Lump of coal's good stuff for us here. Um, I don't think we want to take that right now because we don't have any enough to, to get a payout. I don't know if that's going to be something that's, that, that works across every character, these severed heads, or if that's going to be something that's unique to having this item. I really don't know if that's a, a consistent thing or not. But good. Yeah, we're rushing through with battery acid to try our best at... Um... But these, these ghosts seem very common. It seems like a 50-50 chance to get a ghost. We'll be rushing our way through to try and get our, our charge going. We do have an XL floor here as well. Beautiful. The explosion they do is uh, pretty gnarly. Okay, so some enemies aren't feared, apparently. My dude, just die. Oh my god. Okay, we got three this time. So this will just be a random stat. This will also be a random stat. This, however, may be included. Samuel, let's see. It is. Chains of Torment. Interesting. Can't believe we got three that time. Okay, so at the start of our room, one random enemy is Anima Solid. Which is kind of a weird one to do for um, Samuel. Or does it just kill them outright? Because the, the time so far, it's just killed the enemy outright. Not entirely sure. Oh, really? Okay, no, it is, it is an Anima Soul. It just does some damage on. That's, that's pretty good. We got Fear and Anima Soul upon entering a room. So this seems like it could get pretty wild by the end of the run. Obviously, we are heavily accelerating 
the amount of runes and stuff you would be able to use normally. Wait, there's another rune in there? There's two runes in here? Aha, I'll just... A little bit more fire rate is good for me. I just need a damage up now. Give me that sweet, sweet damage up. We are blasting through these rooms here. Thank you for the burny. I guess we could play this out a little bit, but I'm going to save it in case I want to do it later. Got two item rooms, remember, not just the one. Crab, get gone. Beautiful. We got three again, and we got another soul of Samuel, so I wonder what having two of them is going to do. Oh, wait, okay. So if you already have it, it does just give a stat upgrade. Hey, we finally got some damage. Lovely. Wow, thank you for this. The poo, baby, the poo. Finally got some damage. Lump of Coal is also technically damage as well, which is somewhat nice. Oh, there you go. Froze them all. We get this bad boy, so let's go and put that in one of these as well. A more damage. Beautiful. So yeah, getting the same Soul Stone twice isn't going to be super useful, apart from just getting extra stats. Dude, Electric Dice was a crazy pickup to get. Also, the solar, um, solar K and fearing everything is really nice. Not quite sure what the relevance of it fearing everything is. I'm not sure why it fears everything, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to go back down and do these rooms. I'm pretty sure our boss is up, but this will give us some extra charges and might even get us a, a new usage of our active. Yeah, it should do. We've got a, a double room here, so... He's a bomb there. I, I just stood right in the way of that bomb. Don't know what I was thinking. Oh, don't be a nuisance, Froggy. Wow. Very annoying room here. Boom, bow. We've got three again. Oh, my God. This is why I wanted to get three, because look at how many times we're not getting soul stones. We're getting a lot of stats, that's nice. But we're not getting soul stones, and soul stones is really what I wanted to get. There is a few other items I could have given myself to up our soul stone chances, but I didn't want to make it crazy, crazy powerful. Like, obviously the stats are going to be quite strong from this. But the thing is, I can get shot speed, I can get luck. Like, I'm not always going to get damage and fire it. Oh, dude, this half soul heart item is uh, pretty gorgeous. Getting half soul hearts on the regular and it deals more damage when we hit them as well. All good, man. All good. No rune. A little careful with all these bubbles about. And you're going to fly away. Lovely. Are we going to get another charge for the boss here, maybe? Go, ghosties. Attack. Ow. Ooh, I don't know how that's going to work. Oh my god, we got the lantern as well. Um, can we get enough money to grab this, though? I will gladly sacrifice some potential charge to find money to get the lantern battery. Because that is uh, very, very good. 25% chance to gain a bonus charge on room clear. It spawns a battery on pickup as well. So we really need to find 4 extra cent, even if we waste a charge doing it. Right. There's one extra penny. Another extra penny. We're going to get a charge here anyways, look. I 
And there's our money. Lovely. Air was. Honestly, air was is probably better to just be used. That gave us a stat up. I don't know what it was. I didn't actually see which stat went up. We've got enough money now for lantern battery. Uh, let me find a little marking on the floor that I can utilize for this. I can't actually see any because it's all watery. No floor decals that I can make out. This this is one, right? Yeah. I'm going to say it's better off to just potentially get an item than a, a random stat up. Inner eye. Nice. I like inner eye. And yeah, lantern battery here is uh, paired with electric dice is... Um, or is it electric dice? Yeah, whatever it's called is uh, pretty goddamn nutty. Birth from something wicked. Gonna increase our charge rate exponentially. <laughs> One second. Alright, let's keep moving along. Yeah, so we should be getting charges pretty damn speedily here. It is the boss, and we might get a severed head for this, I'm not sure. Oh, we've got triple sharp, haven't we? I kind of forgot we had an eye. I paused the game and completely lost what I was doing, or where I was. Ow. It's alright, we'll get that health back. There you go. I told you. Okay, so we didn't get a severed head this time around, but we do have another boss next, so we might get it after this one. Oh, look at his little face. <laughs> the anguish. No, we didn't get one after this one either. Interesting. Right, down we go. Guess the loss. The fear on room is like, like entering a room is very good because it lasts a very, very long time. I can see why this item is quality four. Beautiful. Another half soul heart there as well. Beautiful. A hey, full heal. Ooh, soul of Eve. Hey, we got another one. Okay, cool. Another soul stone. Um, soul of Eve might just be permanent. Um, bird foot or Eve's bird. What? The, what the hell? What the hell's the item called? The actual item. Eve's crow. I don't remember what the hell the item's actually called. You know. I'm blanking. Cool. Oh my god, we got triple again. So this... Um, pair of ravens. Oh yeah, we do just get two birds that follow us around. Nice. Um, I'll just... And we got a Yera here. I'm going to hold on to the Yera because we can use the Yera to duplicate our uh, next amount of soul stones, right? And get more stats. I did this mainly for the charges. But this this could work out quite well with a Yera. Keep moving. Yeah, I don't know if you can like just find hex tables naturally or if they only come from this item. What I'd expect though is you might get some secret room layouts that have like a rune, a random rune plus a hex table. That's what I'd expect to see. How are we getting so many heart containers by the way? When did we get another heart container? We just seem to be getting them randomly. Hey, we got Soul of Azazel. We'll see what that does. In fact, let's um, let's Yera all of these. The Soul of Azazel. Don't know what that is. And then we get some stats. Ah, oh, we're getting heart containers from these on occasion. I see. So sometimes you'll get stats, sometimes you get a heart container. Oh, the wafer. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that. Where the hell are we going? Curse of the Lost. But I do have a mod that makes Curse of the Lost a little less evil, so... Ooh, damn. What was that? Did it fire like a sword the moment we, um... We entered the room. Is that, uh, Soul of Azazel doing that? It seems to be. Yeah, okay, that's crazy. 
I kind of don't want all these red hearts, you know, because uh, I'm quite liking the stats that we're gaining. What's that? Um, restock? Eh, I don't really feel like we need that, do we? But yeah, you see how, like, Kerth the Lost now? I can see just the rooms adjacent and no further, even if I open my map fully. Makes it way less evil. Wait, did I do this wrong? How do I get through the rest of this room? Do I gotta bomb this, I guess? Seems a bit weird. Oh, dude, that's so nice. Enter a room and it just blasts them. Oh, these guys have been feared to start with is not nice, though. Yeah, soon we're barely going to be able to hold these uh, soul hearts. I'd like to stay on the amount of red hearts I have now. I, I guess I've just got to get devil deals and pay for them. Get rid of some red hearts. Beautiful. Oh, charge there. Thank you. We'll pop that. Oh, we only got one this time. Oh, we got a card, though. Is that... Yeah, that's not even a rune. Why, why, would, why would that drop? That's weird. That's a bit strange. My god. There's a lot of them. I like my dual birds as well. A really cool idea to give soul stones a permanent affect. Ooh, this one might have a an effect. I don't know if it will, but it might. I don't know if this mod is supported. So let's find out. Ah, it's just stats. Okay, that one's not supported. I don't know how many mods are supported, but there is. it does say in the description of the mod. So I, I could have found out if I'd have read, but I just didn't. But we know for we know so far Fiend Folio is supported. Yeah. We are destroying these rooms right now. There's two Ooh, saw a Bethany. Engraved. So engraved. I'm guessing this will be something to do with gaining, um, gaining wisps, like, at, like, at the start of the floor when we kill a boss, maybe? Or just randomly we get a kill? Or maybe it's something to do with that active item giving us wisps, like Book of, uh, Virtues. Ooh, severed head there. So now we've got two severed heads, we can actually purchase something here. Um, yes please, thank you. Right, so if we, if we do this now, and we go over here this time. Okay, so the ancient book for two severed heads. Book of Belial for two severed heads. Monster Manuel, Book of Sin, Anarchist Cookbook, Book of Shadows. Okay, so we can only get books for the amount of heads that we have right now. So I actually don't, don't want that. On four seven heads, we can start getting something a bit better. I don't really know what the what what happens to give us a seven head. Maybe it's the speed at which I kill the boss. Ugh. Why would a room like this even remotely exist? Just to punish me? Ah, just a waiting game. Huh. Regardless of how annoyed I am by those enemies, I still absolutely love the noise they make when they die. It is beautiful. Really? Really another one of these rooms? Just not really that funny, is it? Oops, Soul of Azazel there. I think we've already got that one there. And maybe it's the Soul Stones that are giving us heart containers. Like, if we've already utilized them is what I mean. If we do the same Soul Stone again, it gives the heart container. Let's test that theory, I guess. Oh, we also have this thing in the bottom left, look. There's like a 12%. I don't know what that's from.
I'm not quite sure what that's about. Some pills. Yeah, so let's see if we get a heart container now. We do, okay. So repeated uses. Okay, we got blue baby here. You learned rot. And then we also got fiend. You learned scorch earth. Oh, that gave us a heart container as well, so maybe it's just a random chance to get a heart container and I don't know what I'm talking about. Why is there so many rooms with these dudes in it? My god. How many times have people actually said they enjoy these enemies? Literally, it's never been said. Uh, do it again. Make the huh sound. Just fire your bitch. Just wasting my goddamn time. Okay, so Scorched Earth seems to be enemies being set on fire when we enter a room, or at least bosses set on fire. Do we have piercing now? There's another severed head. Um, I guess I'll take this. I can bring this with me, I guess. Tears gain a small circular laser around themselves is not a bad idea. I, I wanted to do boss rush anyways. Oh, dude, with piercing, it's great. How, how can we have piercing anyways? Where'd I get that from? I don't really see where that's from. Apple of pride? I'm gonna pop the apple of pride, you know? Soul of Samson. Quick jabs. Soul of Forgotten. Probably should have not put these in the middle of the room. Learn necromancy. Stats. Dude, there is going to be a lot of hex and tables. Chilling. Oh, dude, we're doing so much damage. Yeah, what the hell is giving us piercing? I really don't know. We get ourselves all Judas here. Can you get off my hex and table, please? Dance macabre. My goodness. We're about to get every soul stone under the sun. With a Bethany. The Samsel. Getting the Kapala effect for the room, that seems good to me. Oh, hello, what the hell are you? Get rid of him before he goes underground, please. There you go, good. Oh wait, why is this dingle the wrong dingle? Like, visually. Ooh, Soul of Lilith. Macabre Gestation. Ease out. Culinary Mastery. Interesting. We managed to get basically all the soul stones here. <laughs> I like it. Mini Isaac's there for us as well. Oh, it seems that we're removing some of the uh, thingies here. Yeah. Um. Do that. Some more stats. I think we're tapping out with stats, you know. I don't think we're getting stats as often anymore. Grab that. Let's get gone. That was kind of wild. <clears throat> that was kind of wild. We are definitely significantly stronger now and everything starts on fire. We've got a little dancing man above our head. I don't know what that's for. I'll be honest. When we enter a room, there's like darkness for a second and then everything's on fire and we slice and we fire a... There's, there's a lot of effects going on as we enter rooms, I'm seeing. 
It's uh, it's quite disorientating, but it is also quite strong. So let's not complain too much. Let go of him. Ooh, soul of Lazarus. And this is going to give us stats. Yes, fire it. Yet more fire it. So there's a few. There's a few sorcerers here that we're not actually know. We don't know which one's doing what. I'm pretty sure Judas is probably the one with the darkness and the slash at the start of the room. I don't know what Rot is doing from Blue Baby. I did get a Rotten Heart up there earlier, but that might have just been whatever. I don't know what the little dance is going about. I don't know what the macabre gestation is doing from Soul of Lilith either. I do. I, I, I'm guessing, actually, looking at it now, it's probably to do with the crazy amount of mini Isaacs that I have. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Severed head number four, baby. So we can go go here now. And we can go... Book of Moonlight, Book of Filth. But, okay, are these just all books? Square Candy. Black Orb. Okay, they're not all books. Just a lot of books is all. Black Orb, what is that? Spawns a black orb onto a random enemy after holding the attack keys for four seconds, then releasing them. It hit up to four times, dealing armor piercing damage. Interesting. Cool. I just fired like a fist then as I entered the room. Yeah, like my, my, my first shot. Look. Ah, I fire like a fist shot as my first like shot after not firing for a bit. Kind of nice. I've got some sort of charge up bar here that I've not used yet. Oh, that's just that, is it? Well, no, because I've got two different charge bars. I don't know what the other one is, to be honest. I really don't. So many mini eyes that. Uh, What the hell? Has this got a unique effect? It does. There's a lot going on right now. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the of the darkened visual effect when we enter a room. I'd like that to stop, but otherwise we've got some crazy stuff going on here that I quite like. Die, dude, die. Yeah, this item, even on a regular run where you don't have all this crazy charge stuff, seems like it'd be pretty good. Ooh. Actually, we've already done Soul of Golem, haven't we? Bit of extra fire it. Nice. Technically, we could easily play the sack room because we have so much HP and we have a uh, wafer, but do we need to is the bigger question. Is it necessary? Although I suppose I could teleport to the last floor and just fight Mega Satan. Why not? Let, 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 honestly, let's do that. Why not do that? Let's go fight Mega Satan. We got a Clotty for taking damage. I'm guessing that's our gestation thing that we got from Solar Lilith. Which means we'll have a few Clotties to fight with us for the fight here. Oh wait, we are taking full heart damage. We do have the wafer though. What that what what's that about? Oh wait, no, we're not. I'm confused. I swear we just took a full heart damage. Yeah, we did there. What the hell? Why are we randomly taking full heart damage sometimes? Mm. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't pick up the key piece. That's oh, okay. I'll spawn it in. I, I, I got it. I just didn't pick it up. I'm stupid. Hey, why do I keep typing Lee piece? Cool. I will take Twisted Pear. Thank you. I'm going to do some rooms here to try and heal up. My god. The FPS do be low. The FPS do be very low. Can we actually get some hearts here? Soul hearts, yes. Regular hearts, not so much. In fact, I should probably take some other deals just to free up soul heart space because I'm going to get some soul hearts from killing stuff here. Tough love with seven luck is going to be pretty good. That's a significant amount more damage. Beautiful. Most rooms just require one shot. See, that, that's why I did that. We'll look up as well. Why not? Don't mind if I do. I should probably try and find a soul stone or something that I can just take in with me as well. I mean, the magician's a pretty good card to take in with us, I guess. What does this do? Give us a holy mantle. That's something, I guess. God damn. The amount of, like, Tech X lasers wrapped around our tears here is, uh, pretty immense. Damn, no health yet. Not a single red heart. I was really expecting to get at least one. And we, we do have the wafer, so we have technically double health, but will the wafer actually work? I don't know. Blessing of R and Jesus. I'm guessing that'll just give us a random effect each room. I think at this point I'm probably ready to go considering how mean the game is being and with not giving us any HP. Yeah, I'm just gonna go because I'm just not getting HP at all. A little risky with the amount of health we're on, but doesn't matter. Just goddamn go for it. Magician card there. Herming will probably help. Really don't think it's necessary, but it'll probably help. My god, lad. You've been wrecked. Yeah, the clotties here from taking damage is uh, pretty incredible. Oh my god. We almost destroyed him in one go. Oh, man. 13 FPS. Thank god we're using lossless scaling, otherwise this would be actually unplayable. So one thing I love about it, like, yes, the game is running in slow-mo, essentially, but it's actually playable. Like, I can see what's happening. I can control my character. Just because it's playing in slow mode doesn't make it bad. It's, it's way more watchable for you guys as well. It means that when I get a broken run, it isn't just completely unwatchable. There you go. Taking care of good sir. Those lasers with that damage plus uh, the, the teeth shots... It's undeniable. Down to 9 FPS here. A lot going on on screen right now.
<laughs> there you go. Dead. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very interesting little item there. And really, really cool little new table interactable. I like it. It's an interesting idea. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.